Hey guys, what's going on with everybody? Welcome in for 30 books in 30 weeks. This is going to be super quick because I have a meeting in about, I don't even know what time it is, but in about probably about 10 or 15 minutes. So this is going to be fast, but I want to share with you, you all know today's, or uh, this week's book is Meditation for Women Who Do Too Much, right? So I'm going to read something from today's excerpt and then I want to talk about it real briefly so as you guys come in welcome 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 I always always appreciate the interaction what's up Ed I love Ed. Ed is always like on point on time every day I so appreciate you Ed um so um as you guys come in feel free to share the video out um I still quite haven't figured out how to post them so that you share them immediately because I don't think it's working right so I'm going to work on that on my side. What's up, Teresa Dixon? So um, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Marcy Batiste. I'm America's number one reality-based success and recovery trainer, and I welcome you into my world. Welcome to Life on Mars. Um, I'm also a public speaker. I'm an author, and um, I was talking to a client, and she deemed me the coach's coach today. Um, she's a she's a life coach, and she, she trains um with me on her business branding. So um, I kind of like that title. I thought that was super cute. Um, so that's kind of who I am. That's what I do. Um, I love to help women shine, help them discover and embrace their star power. Hey, Philip. Um, and I'm sold out to my happiness. If you have to know one thing about me, that's the most important thing for you to always know. So I'm sold out to my happiness. If you compromise, jeopardize, or in any way threaten my happiness, our relationship is over. <laughs> It's pretty simple. Um, so when we talk about reality-based, that's the world that I live in. I operate from a space of keeping things r realistic, um, staying in relation with reality. Hey, Nicholas, how are you, sweetie? Um, so to that point, we're talking today about, um, I can't even remember what I titled this. Um, oh, appreciate normal, right? Appreciate normal. So we're, we're talking about the... Meditations for women who do too much and as I was explaining yesterday on the video each day has a different Meditation and subject matter for you to think about and so when I opened up today for May 1st Can't believe it's the beginning of May. Happy May Day for all of you Midwesterners You know what that's about the people on the coast don't know about, about what May Day is, but we know we know that good home wholesome Midwest folk but um, so it says today it says and this is what I want you guys to understand because as a motivational speaker, as an author, as a trainer, and a coach, and all these other things, we talk about doing epic shit, right? I just did a post about doing epic shit. You can't do epic shit with basic people, was a post that I did the other day. So we talk about things being extra, over the top. Hey, Will. Um, we talk about going the extra mile, taking things to the next level, right? So that's that's the conversation. That's the world that I live in. That's the world that I function in. And that's the world that I help my clients build for them and their clients. So I was thinking about that. And then I was thinking how intimidating that can be. Hey, Gregory, how intimidating that can be. If you um, are searching for someone to help you, let's say, build a business or to help you get your life back on track, help you to rebuild relationships, help you to reclaim your self-esteem, whatever the case may be, right? You're, you're trying to cure that emotional bankruptcy, get back in spiritual alignment, you know, all of these things that I talk about with the reality-based coaching, right? That's all extra. But sometimes you just need to appreciate normal and understand that normal is not always a bad thing. It's not always a bad thing. And when I say that, it sounds crazy because, like I said, the world that I live in is the world of extra. Be epic, right? Um, experience life unedited. Like everything I stand for, the custom fitted life is about extra. It's about the more. It's about the different. It's about the next level. Appreciate normal. Just take a moment out and appreciate when you have a normal day. And understand that those normal days are a gift. They're a gift. Not to suggest that you should not, hey Marvin, not to suggest that you shouldn't want better, more, different, epic, custom fitted. I'm not suggesting that at all. What I'm suggesting is that normal is a gift and that there are people that would give anything 
anything in the entire world, anything that they had, all their worldly possessions, just to wake up and be able to have a freaking normal day. I say that for my sisters who are battling and warriors in the fight against domestic violence. How beautiful that would be to wake up and just have a normal day. To not have to worry about being beaten. To not have to worry about having being called out of your name. I think about all my sisters that are homeless. How beautiful it would be to just have a normal day. To wake up with a roof over your head, electricity available, food readily at your fingertips, conversation, people to talk to, just normal stuff. Appreciate normal. We don't appreciate normal. There are people battling with diseases like cancer and other terminal illnesses. They never, ever, ever from that point forward, from the moment they have that diagnosis day, is not a normal day. Their normal is, is abruptly taken away. It's gone. They don't get normal back anymore. They have to create a new normal. And But what they've always known to be a normal day, just waking up, kind of meh, put her around the house, like for me today, you know, work out, put around the house, do some work, have some meetings, couple conference calls. That's a normal day. They don't get normal. Normal is a blessing that we tend to forget. And this was such a gift for me today because um, when I was reading this, I was like, how powerful that message really is to be able to drive that home and say, you don't always need extra. Sometimes you need to be grateful for normal. Sometimes you need to be appreciative for normal. They say that God won't give you more until you've proven that you can handle what you have. So if you haven't learned to appreciate normal, how the hell is he supposed to deliver epic to you? What makes you think you're ready for more, for extra, for better, for different, if you haven't learned to appreciate normal? Because understand that normal is still a gift from God. To wake up every day is a gift from God. There's a song that talks about, um, I think it's by Mary Mary, and they're talking about, am I still your child? And, and in the verse, it says something to the effect, and I'm paraphrasing here, but it says something to the effect was, I told the birds to sing and I told the moon to shine all night. That's how you know you're still my child. That's all a gift. When you, when you can hear the sound of someone's voice, that's your normal. That's your gift. Let somebody wake up one morning and they can't hear. They don't never have another normal, what they knew to be normal day. They have to create a new normal. So appreciate normal. Stop being ungrateful for normal freaking days. Normal freaking days are an amazing gift that we take for granted. Like, it's just not enough. Normal is a gift. And when we tend to forget that, then that's when bad stuff starts happening. Because you're ungrateful. Mm -hmm. You're unappreciative of the gifts that is laid out before you. The gift of normal. So this is what um, this is what the, the verse says today. It says, normal, normal days. Let me be aware of the treasure that you are. Let me learn from you, love you, bless you before you depart. Let me bless you before you depart. Let me appreciate this normal day before it's gone. Let me appreciate the flowers that I walked by. Let me appreciate the fact that I had to close my window today because the birds were singing in a tree so loud I couldn't, I, I couldn't have my conference call. Let me appreciate those levels of normal before they're gone. It says, let me hold you while I may, for it may not be always be so. One day I should dig my nails into the earth and bury my face in the pillow or stretch myself taut or raise my hands to the sky and want more than all the world for you to return. I see on my timeline people losing loved ones every single day. Life as they knew it, their normal is never again. It can't be reclaimed. So please, if you don't do anything else today, just appreciate the normal stuff that's happening. The normal things going on in your life. Breathing, conversation, friendships, waking up, going to sleep, running water, whatever the case may be. Find gratitude in normal. Before you go to asking for something more, make sure you're not mismanaging what you have. That's my word of the day. So appreciate normal. 
Y'all have a great day. And as always, thanks for living life on Mars. We'll talk tomorrow. Have a good one, y'all.